Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Meredith E. Phillips. I'm a writer, reader, and buddy mama. And today is gonna to be mainly a writing vlog, but I wanted to start things off with an unboxing. I needed some office supply type things um, and desk supplies from Amazon, so I wanna show you what I got. Okay, so I don't know if you remember, but several vlogs back, I was like, this is a problem. And it's this bit on my hand that's down here that's so pink and clearly irritated, but that's the part that rests on the table when I'm moving the mouse or I'm typing on the keyboard and it's clearly irritated. And so I was like, I need to get, it was actually starting to get to the point where it hurt. And so I was like, not bad or anything, but you know, it was starting to hurt and I thought, okay, might as well get a keyboard wrist rest and a mouse pad that has a wrist rest attached to it to try to keep that up off of the hard desktop. So I got that and I also bought a new pair of headphones for myself because my current pair is getting a little worn out. So let me open this box. Okay, let's start with first things first, the headset. Guys, look at the quality, the absolute high end level headset that I have purchased. Now, I've purchased this headset multiple times over the years and it used to be $5. They upped the price to $6 for the red version. I could have gotten black for $5 still, but I wanted red, so I paid the extra, I paid the premium price for these headphones, okay? Now, you might be wondering, Meredith, you are a grown person. Why are you wearing childlike headsets? And I'll show you the current pair I have. Here they are. It's like the headset that you would have worn in computer lab in like third grade. They're the cheapest headset on the planet, I think. But like the little ear pads are kind of getting a little worn out. So I was like, I, um, I'll get a new pair. You know, I feel like most people have like big headsets and I hate those. They're so heavy. And the other thing is like a lot of times the actual part that goes over your ears doesn't actually go over your complete ear, it like cuts into your ear here. And what that does, because I wear glasses, is the headphones like clamp to your head and the edge of the ear muff part pushes into my ear, which pushes into the leg of my glasses. And then the hard plastic of the glasses pushes into my head and it hurts after a while. I hate it. So yeah, we're gonna go with the cheap ones cause they're super light and they work and that's all I need out of a set of headphones. The other thing I got is the mouse pad, mouse whatever, wrist rest stuff. Let me get it out of this crinkly plastic. Okay, I did get pink because pink sort of matches the rest of my decor over here. It's a little more of a bubble gummy pink than I was wanting, but that's fine. I don't really super care, but that'll be so nice to have this nice wrist resty bit here instead of the hard desktop. This smells like something I know. It smells like a new toy, like on Christmas morning. Um, and then of course the wrist rust, which feels a little cheap, I'm not gonna lie, and it's huge. <laughs> It'll be really big compared, I should have thought about that. It's really huge compared to my actual keyboard, but that's fine, I guess. Yeah, hopefully that will help save my, rest, my wrists from further destruction. And then I got this. It is a plain, as you can possibly imagine, gray t-shirt. It's literally just a t-shirt. Um, I needed a little extra for free shipping. So I was like, let's get this cheap t-shirt. I've become really obsessed with the cheapest t-shirts you can possibly buy. Like I wear these, the NaNoWriMo shirts all the time. I love this style of t-shirt. It's just basic t-shirt. And the other thing that I like about them is that it covers me. If I, you go to Target, I've bought men's shirts at Target before because all of the women's shirts are either the belly shirts, like the crop top things that I'm like, I am not wearing that. Or they've got like the super low cut V-neck sort of thing, which I, I'm not wearing, wearing that either. Um, and if you wanna wear it, that's awesome. You go ahead and do it, but it's not for me. And I'm like, can I just get a plain t-shirt? I just want a t-shirt, just like a kid t-shirt, <laughs> please. So yeah, I got a plain t-shirt. I'm really excited about it. It's soft. That's what I want. I wanna be comfortable when I'm wearing a t-shirt. I don't wanna feel like, oh, I can't bend over 
without everyone seeing everything. You know, like, come on. I just need to bum around the house or go to the grocery store. I'm not trying to impress anyone over here. Okay, that's it for the unboxing. And what I'm working on today, it's Saturday, by the way. I need to finish up an outline for the video I need to film today. And then I'm probably gonna start editing that. And then tomorrow, Sunday, is my writing day. So I will check back in with you tomorrow when I'm actually doing some writing work. All right, it is Sunday and it is exactly 10 o'clock in the morning. I have gotten myself ready. I'm showered, I'm ready to write. I have some other things I need to get done today though, aside from the writing. I do have several chores and household things I need to get done. So my thought is that I'm going to try to do those in between writing sessions. I need to do some stuff like clean up some dishes in the kitchen. We did the thing where you run the dishwasher and then you just don't unload the dishwasher so you can't put new dishes in it so there's just a bunch of dishes in the sink so I need to do that and I have some laundry going right now so I need to switch that over I also what else there was something else I need to go to the grocery store probably tomorrow I don't think I'm gonna go today but I need to make a list so I need to do that and I have some old bananas that I'm going to make into banana bread so I'm gonna make sure those things are in my planner and then I think I'm gonna try to write so I'm gonna try to do a long writing session sort of to start things off. And then I'm gonna pause and do one of those chores that'll take a little bit of time just to sort of like get up from the computer and do something a little different and then come back. Yeah, let me go ahead and make sure I have all those written down in my planner because I think I'm missing a couple and then I'll get started writing. Okay, I've got the kitchen stuff, the laundry, I need to do the grocery stuff and the banana bread. I don't want to brag or anything, but I do have a really banging banana bread recipe. So I'll put that in um, the link to the recipe I use. It's not like I came up with it myself, but I'll put a link to that in the description if you want to also try it. I think I'll do that toward the end of the day and then I can have banana bread as my reward because it's delicious when it's fresh out of the oven. Yeah, that's my plan for the day. Um, let me get my documents all pulled up here and uh, sort of see where I left off last week. I've got to get all my little windows here on my document all redone. I filmed the video yesterday, which you guys I think will see next Tuesday is about outlining and the different methods I've used and how my thoughts on outlining have changed over the years. And I had examples I was showing in my document, but now I need to figure out where, <laughs> where I actually was like working. <laughs> so hold on. All right, I did a little bit of desk cleanup because I had a few things out still from yesterday that was annoying me. <laughs> so now my desk is nice and clean. I've got my new uh, wrist rest accoutrements over here. So that's exciting. And yeah, I've been, I used these yesterday and it's like rising on a cloud. They're so nice. I'm very happy with my very cheap purchase. So yeah, I've got my documents all pulled up. The scene I left off with last week, I did finish the scene and things were like kind of on an upswing and now I get to like crash everything. So that should be fun. I think what I'm gonna do is actually set a little timer over here. I'm gonna do an hour. We'll see how we go. It's almost 20 after 10 now. So I'll be done around 11.20. I'll be able to change over my laundry and maybe I'll do something like unload the dishwasher. We'll see. We'll see what I'm in the mood to do in an hour. So let's go ahead and get this potty started. Okay, I managed to get about 1300 words, which is pretty good for an hour of writing. I'm gonna take a little bit of a break. I'm gonna switch my laundry over and I'm gonna unload the dishwasher. I also think I'm gonna grab lunch. It's kind of early, it's only 11.20 ish, but I didn't really have breakfast, so I'm hungry. And I have leftover pizza, which I very much want to eat. Let's go do the chores and take a break from the writing. I know after last week, you guys were desperate for more laundry content, so <laughs> you're welcome. All right, I've got the oven preheating to heat up my pizza and I'm gonna unload the dishwasher. Adulting. Dad, 
done. Okay, I have finished eating my cheeseless pizza because I don't like cheese. Don't, don't, just that's my preference, okay? Come at me, bro. I washed it down with some prunes because I'm a grandma and I love me some prunes. Do you like prunes? I love prunes. They're so sweet and delicious. How could you not like a prune? Anyway, it is about noon and I'm gonna go ahead and get started on my next sort of writing session here. I did notice that Anne Sophie is on doing some writing sprints at the moment. So I think I'm going to join in on that. Hopefully go for maybe another hour. I'm not sure how long she's gonna be streaming. She's been on for already like an hour already. So maybe they'll do like one or two more sprints. But I'll join in for a little bit of that. Then I think I'll go ahead and do another chore or two. Probably load the dishwasher because all I did was unload it. So I need to load it with the dirty dishes. And my laundry should be done so I can take that out. What else do I have? Oh, I have the grocery list to do. I hate doing grocery. Do you do meal planning and like a grocery list? I do because it definitely saves me money and it helps me know what I'm going to make for dinner during the week. But I hate making them. <laughs> But anyway, while this one still has like a five minutes-ish left on it, so yeah, I'll wait till she comes back on to say hello and then I'll get to writing, I guess. <laughs> All right, so, so far today I have gotten about 2200 words in I that that's pretty good I don't that's pretty good <laughs> and it's only one o'clock so I'm gonna take a little break though because I've been sitting here for about an hour since I finished lunch and I'm gonna go ahead and do the dishes I think uh, load up the dishwasher yeah and take my laundry out of the dryer hopefully it's dry so we'll take a little break take care of those things and then we'll come back for some more writing i'm in the middle oh by the by i'm in the middle of th what is hopefully going to be a fun scene it's um i actually i said at the beginning i i was about to write that scene where like everything kind of crashes but i forgot i needed to do some other stuff first so i did the other stuff first and now i'm in the scene where everything's crashing so that's fun uh, and I'll get to come back to finish out that scene after the chores. Alrighty, chores took not all that much time and then I got distracted with things on the internet so now it's two o'clock I'm gonna try to do another hour worth of writing well I don't know I'm either gonna do another hour's worth or I'm going to try to just finish this scene I just started it so I'm not really all that far into it and then I'm gonna go make that banana bread because I want to eat it oh wait I still got to do the grocery list Burp. writing grocery list banana bread because the banana bread isn't really like a chore you know what I mean that's more like this is fun I'm gonna make something delicious to eat so yeah writing groceries banana bread <laughs> okay I am quickly losing concentration it is a little after 2 30 I finished this scene I'm at 2700 words for the day which I'm happy with that's a pretty decent writing day I don't know if I've written that much in a long time. So that's pretty good. I feel good about that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that grocery list now and then we go make banana bread. So let me save that. <gasps> oh, I forgot to tell you. We got to have a chat. Hold on. This is a PSA to everyone out there with projects on their computer. Earlier in the week, I was sitting at my work desk and our power went out because Texas and it was out for maybe five or ten seconds and then it came back on again I don't know what was happening but anyway I was like oh that was weird but okay it came back on we're fine later I came back into my office and realized that my computer had turned off from from the power going off and I was like oh, okay I, you know let me turn it back on 
turn it back on and as it boots up again it opens automatically all the programs I had open when it had gotten turned off suddenly. And that included internet browsers and my Scrivener document because I almost always have it just like open. <laughs> I just minimize it. It pulled up the Scrivener document and I noticed that the section I have in the document labeled draft two, which of course is the draft I'm currently working on, it was blank. It was blank. There was no words in it and i panicked a little bit there was a little bit of panicking going on i was like what what texas if you screwed this up for me i swear so i quit scrivener i was like maybe i just let, let's just open it again so i rebooted it opened scrivener and all of my work was there again Thank God. I have a backup, but I will be honest, I haven't like copied the new work over into that backup in a little bit. So I would have, if that had been accurate and if there had been nothing there, I would have lost weeks of work. Just a little reminder, back up your work because I, oh, that would have been awful if, if it had really been gone. Oof. So I definitely backed up my work <laughs> after that and yeah, just just please don't don't let that happen to you. Remind your friends to back up their work. Back up your work. It sucks if you lose stuff. So anyway, yeah, let's go ahead and make that grocery list. Okay, this is for the week of the 16th. The 16th? Can, Can you do it? it? I'll, I'll give you a lot of money. money. Okay, that took a stupidly long time. I was just like, I don't know what I want to eat. And then I was having to make like the grocery list of things to get. So anyway, it's done now. I am tired. It's after three o'clock. So I'm going to go make banana bread. And after that, I don't know what I'll do, but I'll take you along for a real quick trip to banana bread land. Link to the recipe below. <laughs> Acknowledge, I've gone this whole vlog without saying anything. I am in pajama bottoms <laughs> because all my clean pants that I would have wanted to wear today were dirty in the laundry. So I was like, guess we're wearing pajamas. Okay, so that is baking in the oven for an hour. I think I'm gonna play some video games because it's what? It's almost four o'clock and I'm pretty worn out for the day. So I'll put a little clip in at the end so you can see what the banana bread looks like when it's all finished. And then I am sure I will have a slice as a reward for all my hard work from today. I did a lot today. I'm pretty proud of myself. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, click the subscribe button. I post videos on Tuesdays and Fridays. You can find me over on Instagram at Meredith Phillips Writes, and you can head over to my website, MeredithEphillips.com, to sign up for my newsletter. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I will see you next time. Bye!